This is John Henry Weston for LifeSite News with breaking news from the Vatican. The head of Rome's most famous church, St. Peter's Basilica, has stated that the blessings of homosexual couples could happen there inside St. Peter's Basilica. Cardinal Mauro Gambetti said, and I quote, to show the world the maternal face of the church and along the lines of what, he's referring to Pope Francis, has asked for, they are going to do this. So, but it's not the first time, actually, St. Peter's Basilica has been the focus of controversy for following the will of Pope Francis and his controversial decisions. Remember that after uh, he witnessed the Pachamama idolatry in the Vatican Gardens and blessed the idols, the Pope had the Pachamama idols processed into St. Peter's Basilica and honored there. When Pope Francis was so extreme on COVID, St. Peter's Basilica turned away pilgrims seeking to attend a mass scheduled for their private group for wearing the wrong type of face masks. They insisted that they wear the more specific FFP2 masks, which are kind of like N95s. The Vatican continued to insist on the COVID vax pass even after the Italian government dropped their requirement. Even weeks before the publication of the Pope's Moda Proprio Traditionus Custodis, which severely restricted the Latin mass, St. Peter's Basilica already insisted Mass be in Italian or other modern languages and not Latin. Months after Pope Francis shocked the Catholics in the world by uh, advising a Lutheran woman whose husband was Catholic to go ahead and receive Holy Communion even though she was Lutheran, a group of Finnish Lutherans were given Holy Communion in St. Peter's Basilica after they met with Pope Francis on January 15, 2016. And finally, Pope Francis's great enthusiasm for climate change led him to approve of a light show cast onto the facade of St. Peter's Basilica to promote fighting climate change. For those and many similar stories, go to lifesightnews.com.